Well, their lineage dates back to the early 1600s. More than 400 years later, the Nansman Native American tribe still has some roots here in Hampton Roads. Those roots now solidified a little bit more thanks to a successful quest for federal recognition. But what can its members do with that? Ten on your sides, Kara Dixon has more on the future of the tribe. Kara? Anita Tom, getting that federal recognition has been decades in the making. And this week in the Nansman Indian Nation is hosting its 30th annual powwow. And while they're honoring the past and their ancestors, they're also looking forward to a successful future. The banks of the Nansman River still provide refuge to its native tribe. I didn't feel outcast in the community I grew up in, but I didn't really feel at home the way I do around these people. New York resident Tom Bandamo is just one of many with success stories of tracing his ancestors to these banks. He visited Jamestown years ago, looked into his genealogy, and... I found out that my great-grandmother's photograph is in the Smithsonian. You could have knocked me over with a feather. Nikki Bass is from Baltimore, but she also grew up knowing about her Hampton Roads roots. People were living along the Nansman River in settlements, not just here, but throughout um, southeastern Virginia. The Nansman Indian Nation is celebrating its powwow this weekend for the first time as a federally recognized tribe. We had really almost lost our enthusiasm that it was never going to happen. Assistant Chief Sam Bass says it took decades and hard work. We were very joyous about it and uh, appreciative that it's finally done. Now the job starts with us being a nation. They'll now form their own government, get federal benefits, and turn this land into a tourist attraction to tell their own story. There were many centuries when people felt afraid to be openly Indian and they were afraid to uh, to express their identity. So I feel proud to have the freedom to express my identity and I consider it a responsibility to share that that with other people and to help people give voices to their ancestors who were silenced due to to you know the historical circumstance. And that changes through events like the powwow where this family invites you into their home. And the powwow is this weekend on Saturday and Sunday. It's free and parking is also free. There will be dances, historical interpreters, food, and much more. For more information, we'll have that over on wavy.com. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.